Y'all recognize y'all recognize this cat, Norm. Yak pack over here. <laughs> Mr. Melton Jr. This is a capsuled and skin poured bait. You're, you're on your own. I'm on the other side of the room. It's gonna kind of stop it when it reaches about here. We're gonna try to copy his pour right here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh snap. All right, it's a it's it's a full house in my shop today. So we have we have these guys. Y'all recognize y'all recognize this cat, Norm. Yak pack over here. Mr. Melton Jr. So Norm is a nervous wreck right now. Let me tell you why. He's about to try a really complicated swim bait for his first hand pour ever. Like this is gonna be like a capsule layer skin pour with gold leafing in it that he's gonna have to place in there by hand. He doesn't know what he's getting into, but I do. And I can tell you, it's gonna be awesome, dude. Sweet. So, ready, dude. like, he, he, the last time Norm was here, he said, I wanna make one of your complicated swim baits, one that's like super fancy. And I said, okay, I got you. So, that's what we're doing next. All right, all right, folks, so we got the AI six inch mold. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have Norm basically do a capsule pour, okay? So he's gonna capsule this thing in clear, all right? And then he's gonna put down some gold foil. Now this is not real gold, of course, this is just gold foil. But in the future, we might do this with the real thing, real 24 karat gold leafing. But today we're gonna do it how most lure making hobbyists would do it, just with gold leafing <clears throat> or foil. So we're gonna do a capsule, foil, and then we're gonna throw some different colors in there. You see I've got out some of the um, high-end hyper shift pigments today. I think it's gonna be super cool. So we're about to jump into that right now. All right, here we go, y'all. So this is a capsuled and skin poured bait, okay? That might not mean much to you yet, but here's what I mean by capsule, all right? I wanna take this clear plastic that has no color. I'm gonna start about back here, okay? I'm just gonna pour a thin layer down the cavity of the mold. I'm just gonna kind of tilt the mold and see how that plastic's just kind of filling in those gaps. Yeah. That is a capsule layer. So essentially, there's an outer shell of clear plastic. Okay. And that becomes our canvas. From inside that, we can then add effect to the inside of this layer that you will then see from the outside. So it's sort of oh, like you're, you're building the bait inverted. Sort of, so to speak. So, okay. glove up. Glove up. It's your turn. Oh no. Capsule this mold. <laughs> All right. Oh, geez. so it's gonna be hard. You're just actually here. You know what? You might spill both gloves. Both gloves. Yeah, but both gloves. Both gloves. <laughs> Safety first, everybody. Okay. All right, both so gloves. I yep. start. So here? just kind of hold the mold here with your left hand. Okay. Or just, or, are you right-handed? Yeah. Are you? Okay. So you're gonna pour with your right hand. Okay. So hold the mold. All right. Pick up. All right. Pick up the cup. Where start. You... Start about here, and pour clear plastic into the cavity. Yep. Tilt. There we go. Keep pouring. All right. Now just kind of let it, let it kind of rotate. See how like you can move the mold, and that plastic just kind of fills in. Gotcha. Okay. That's what you want to do. So That's right, it. right around here. Yep. Right around there. Yep. Um, or there. So this is going to make two swim baits in total, right? This is going to make two swim baits in total. All right. Since these take a while, I didn't want to like do too many of them. Like, it probably takes me 45 minutes to do six of these. Is that enough or do I need more? That, that, that's enough? Yeah. Just kind of let it feel perfect. Yeah, like you kind of get a feel for how the plastic's going to flow. Yeah. And, and, then, and then once you got it, you got it. Dude, I don't know why I get so stressed when I do this. Because I'm just so friendly. Oh, dude, there's just this. nothing stressful about it. Everything's stressful yeah. about this. Nah, you, you got on gloves, you, you ain't gonna die. This is gold foil. It is fool's gold, essentially. But now, in order to create this pattern, we're just gonna stick it to it. And what's cool about that capsule is, because it's plastic, that gold will just stick to it. And you can, you can just, you can set it in there and like leave it in whole pieces. I like to kind of scratch it up. It, it breaks it up a little better and you can see whatever color is behind it. Okay. Like if you were just to put it down as a whole piece, it would kind of block the color behind it. So this is just kind of how I like to do it. But basically, you just uh, lay it in there. So it's, it's time consuming, but man, it's freaking awesome. And you only really put it where the capsule is. 
because it won't really stick to the mold as well. Okay. And so that that's why we did the capsule. This is the only reason why this capsule is here, is to put that gold in like that. So that's what we're doing. Cool. So now it's Norm's turn. So that was just a quick little demonstration. Now he gets to do it three more times, and I'm glad I don't have to, to do it because it sticks <laughs> to your fingers and it's a big pain in the butt. So you're up. Yep. Like you, 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 yeah, yeah, you can literally just mash it in there. Perfect. See how it kind of, see yeah, how it kind of cool. breaks cool. it up? Yeah. And to me, it's actually a really great shiner effect. So okay. you should totally take these to Rose Hill because I'm sure it's chock a lot full of shiner. Yeah. What color do you think is going to work best? We can go bluegill, we can go shad, whatever you think because I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to make beats. I just, I just work here, but not really. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with blue. Blue and gold is yes. is sexy. So, uh, just a little bit of blue because this is gonna be another skin layer. Okay, so we don't want it to be too blue. Oh yes. And then we're gonna add a little bit of flake just to like give it a little bit of texture. Interesting. Salt. This is salt and pepper on your food. Okay, so just a little oh, bit. Oh, that looks so cool. Just, oh my just, gosh. Just a little bit of black flake in that blue, okay? And now Norm has the task of pouring a skin layer similar to that capsule of this blue over the gold is the next step. So do you want to do the first? I will do the first one. Yeah, yep, absolutely. <laughs> blue, All so right, so up. you don't want to, so you know how the, how the capsule layer, mm -hmm. you kind of wanted it to cover the whole surface, right? This one you don't. You actually want to stop it to leave a little bit of belly, okay? So, easy peasy. We're just again gonna start up here. And this, this is the beauty of skin pouring. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. In fact, you don't want it to be. So, got my blue. Just pouring it down the mold. I'm just going to kind of stop it, let it go into the head some. All right. And I'm just going to kind of let it droop a little bit down towards the bottom. It's all about the angle of the mold. So you can see it didn't quite, it didn't go all the way to the bottom of the cavity. Okay, okay. That is going to allow us to have sort of a belly color that also is going to show through. So it's okay, it's okay if you pour too much in there and it goes all the way to the belly. I just try to stop it before it goes to the belly. That way you get to see kind of all the different color nuances. So that is, oh, gloves yours. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll clean that off. That way you get a nice even pour. Sweet. And you're up. All right. You're up. Let's go, man. All righty. All right, guys. So this, oh. 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 So this is where it starts getting complicated. <laughs> yeah. I about so, just so, the whole so thing. again, you want to start up there. Okay. Kind of pour the mold at sort of an angle, the angle that you want the plastic to go. Oh jeez. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm terrified, dude. Uh oh, how bad can it be? I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll tilt the mold for you if, if I have to. Okay. And there you go. Perfect. Let's start moving it down. Pour, pour a little more. Okay. 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 No. No. Oh. No. No. We we can save that. All right, now just let it let it stay flat. And you're set done. it down. Yeah, set, set it down. Oh, I messed that one up. No, no, no. no. That, there's like hardly any difference between the two. So yeah, I mean I am pretty good. No, you're very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can do that one. All right. These are gonna look so good, dude. Yeah, I already it, know. It's really gonna look good. I promise. All right, Somehow. so you start so, here. Yep. So, yep. You want to start up there in the tail. Cause there is like two pound bluegill in this lake we're going to. Yeah. And, and I already know that these... And they don't look as sexy as this. Yep, perfect. Yep. Stop it there. Stop it there. I over poured again. Nah, we're good. Nah. So you kind of like... See? You can control the flow, man. Beautiful. See, this is this is some cool stuff right here. This and I'm going to try not to overfill it this time. Dude, I... You're, you're on your own. I'm on the other side of the room. I'm just so excited for these to be done because I already know there's big fish to be caught on this thing. All right. Perfect. All right. Not all the way down to the belly because we got to add another layer. Yeah. Look at me learning. I'm basically probably on YouTube. I'd say probably the best lure maker. I, I, I couldn't think of anybody else, especially in this room, who's better at it than I am. People are gonna think I'm serious. That's a joke, guys. I'm definitely the worst. Nah. The world's worst. I'm the worst. Fish. Dummy. <laughs> Can't you read? I don't know if we need to get that close. I'm like sweating. Palms are sweaty. 
knees weak, arms are heavy. I'm nervous right now. All right, oh guys. My God. Next step. <laughs> Nor Norm's never done this, so I'm going to demonstrate on the first one. Okay. This is the belly color, so we're only pouring the belly portion of the bait. Okay. So this is the belly color. So I'm just going to tilt the cup right there from the head, and I'm just going to fill it up. I'll, I'll basically show you how far I'm pouring it. Just gonna kind of stop it when it reaches about here. Okay, so this part isn't too hard, I don't think. It's it's not too hard, but yeah, then again, it kind of is. So, like to to do it well is not necessarily easy, but it's not. You don't have to like twist it though. Yeah, it's not as like involved as uh, as some of the other stuff. So when it rains, it pours. Yeah. So basically, that right there is what we're doing. You can okay. see, you can see. I didn't fill the mold up just for that color because yeah. we're because we're gonna pour a top color too. And I think this will be not as hard, but I have no clue. Hey, looks could be deceiving. Oh, oh, see, see, you already spilled. No, just just keep going. Oh, you scared? Wait, did I actually mess up? No, <laughs> it's it's fine. <laughs> Are you messing with me? Uh, I I'm, I'm giving you a hard time. I'm not gonna lie, my hands. All right, maybe stop right there. This stuff is absolute juicy. This is more of that super expensive stuff. And just wait till you see this. This is maybe my favorite pigment. Here we go. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. We're gonna go faster, oh my God. Look at that. It's, 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 got, it's got so many different hues in it. And then, we're gonna add one drop of black, which will actually up the saturation of the color shift effect on that black base. Oh my God. Dude, that looks so cool. You cannot beat hyper shift. It's, it's undefeated. Hyper shift, I it's, love it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's literally what it's called. That's what it's called the some... in the automotive world. This is known as hyper shift pigment because it's shifty. Ooh, like me. There you That's go. what they call me in high school. Shifty. Hey, shifty. shifty. Ooh, oh, oh my God, you broke my, you broke my ankles. Yeah. I was just standing here. This guy wrote the bench. <laughs> yeah, this stuff is. Is that the world's smallest fishing rod up there? So, the little orange thing? That's Super. actually the little tension rod to wrap the guides on, on to build your rods. Ooh. So it, it, it kind of is in a way, I guess. Six likes and we're building our own rods. We're spending eight hours, guys, doing it. Yeah. It definitely takes a minute. I say you said rooms to go here and just put guys on it. Yeah, let's do it. My neighbors are probably so tired of hearing that because that is like louder than it than you think. Are you ready? I'm ready. So uh which one? You even knows how to do everything with. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, do you want to do the drum roll, or should I do the drum? You roll? do the drum roll. I think you should let him do it. I had to do it for my. That's right. I made Larry do it and suffer through it. Yeah. All right, drum roll it is. So basically, just go as fast as you can. Like as fast as I can. Just fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Send it. Send it. Right. Good enough. <laughs> there we go. Good enough. All right. So bring bring it on in. Let's let's do the reveal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna come on the top, really. Oh, oh snap! Oh, dude, look at that. That is crazy. And what I like, and and the reason, what makes this so cool, is that because of that clear capsule layer, all of that effect is internal in the bait. So yeah. it's it's got kind of like that. 3D look, you can tell that yeah. like it's internal. It's not on the surface. So I think that's super cool. Here, you can get yep. the next one. All right, guys. So I did like maybe 10% of that one and maybe like 90% of this one. Yeah. So well, this you, one is you, like you did most of the speed yeah. pouring. You, you did I mean, most true. of the hard part. True. So, yeah. yeah. Don't I sell, yourself, help them out a little don't bit, sell so. yourself short. <laughs> so here's like the reveal. This is like my first ever. Swim bait. Gosh, here we go, guys. Dude, oh that God. is crazy. Oh. I love it. Do I have to pull up? 
Yeah, either way. Yeah. Boom. Oh my gosh. Dude, yeah, the gold on the inside, you look from the top. Yeah. That has all these different, that looks like a real fish, it's honestly. Di it's dirty. Woo! Oh my gosh. Bam. I'd pay, I'd pay $100 for that every day. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. Oh my gosh, guys. The most expensive swim bait I've ever made. And the sexiest. It's gonna be tough. I kind of want to eat it right now, but I gotta save it for the bass. We only have two of them, and we hey, already know I'm casting one off. And we haven't even put eyeballs on yet, so oh, it's, it's to. gonna get better. All right, so this is like one of the most satisfying parts, is the putting on of the eyeballs. So, little dab of, of glue there. I like to dab them on. Yeah. Com. Yeah. Always good. Dab on them haters. All right. So, these are Jetson. Jetson texture eyes that aren't even on the market yet. So this is gonna look cool. Oh, oh my lord! Like oh, man. that. That's just that's got attitude. Like that. That that's mean. <laughs> that says sassy. It says a little bit of classic. Yeah. Bougie. That is soft. Soft. <laughs> not not ratchet though. Not ratchet. That is absolutely incredible. Like these eyes are truly next level and truly rare. <laughs> that looks so good. There it is. Does it get better? I'm not sure it does. Okay, everybody. So I'm actually filming this outro the day after. And uh, I have to say, wow, what an awesome swim bait effect. And Norm, buddy, you did an awesome job. I, uh, when I first tried to kind of start skin pouring and capsule pouring it was very bad indeed i i didn't have a hands-on teacher of course but you still even if i had you know you still have to to learn how to how to pour the plastic and control the flow and not pour too much and not over pour so um it's it's tricky stuff and uh man awesome job cool effect um shout out uh big shout out to uh yak pack fishing with yak pack for running my camera for this video so you'll notice there were like a lot of different angles and you know a lot of my videos are shot from a tripod just to try to give you a first person perspective so uh, we got to have a, a different look today which I think is kind of exciting and uh, Larry Melton Jr. Uh, I think was running Norm's camera so uh, definitely go check out Norm's video on this um, because you're, you're gonna get a great perspective there too and uh, what an awesome bait. And then I think he's also going to try to get that fish catch on that bait. So um, the lake he's gonna take those two swim baits at, uh, to is sort of legendary around Tallahassee. It's it's a private, beautiful lake. It's, it's all natural, lily pads. Um, there's some donkeys in there. So um, if any of y'all have been watching Norm for a while, you've definitely seen some big fish come from this spot. So uh, hopefully, he cracks a good one on those swim baits. If, if not, you know, I'm sure he'll be back for more. I think we're gonna sign, sign this video off. Um, again, Norm, thanks for coming out. Yak, Yak Pack, Larry, awesome weekend with you guys. Um, we're gonna have a couple more videos with Larry Melton Jr. coming up soon. And um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else to say. I'm trying to recap the, the weekend. We, we got so much content out of it, so. Um, but anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching this video. Shoot me lots of comments down below, of course. Please like and subscribe. We're really trying to build the channel. We're working hard, and uh, I, I hope it's paying off for, for, for y'all. I hope y'all enjoy watching the content and seeing all the different types of stuff that we're trying to learn. So, you know, I'm taking you guys on my bait-making journey. So uh, hopefully um, y'all will enjoy and keep, uh, keep representing the channel. So... With that said, I'm going to go grab some dinner, and um, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time.